In you know, practicality for me, it's like, do you have to wear those shoes? It's something you have to wear, so it's not two ways. But um, some people have really been abusing this kind of buying things in the 80s and 90s. And they used to, to me, that is a gesture of vulgarity to buy so much. Pleasure, yes. The pleasure of buying, yes. But I like the old-fashioned European way of buying, which is like buying two or three things, but things that are just totally beautiful and practical, and, but beautiful and well-made and are going to last. I belong to that kind of old-fashioned school or prehistorical school of doing objects and creating things. But um, they do have certain excesses sometimes. And I have to f stop myself doing things that are just about to be right, rather horrific sometimes. Effectively, it's something which happens among people who have few and who want to have a lot, you know, for wedding, for, uh, for, and, uh, huh. Because, uh, uh, the link for me in my taste is with um, kitsch. This is a word not so many people use now. But it was very important in the mid 60s and it's connected with uh, pop art for me. This is the main connection. Anything coming from the street, not coming from intellectual or artist, but coming from uh, people's taste. We all collected ugly glasses, ugly plates, souvenirs. But much more my generation, perhaps, because we were perhaps fed up with uh, everything with the signature. And um, of course, I never had money enough for buying big names in art. But I didn't care. I was much more in love with something fascinating because it was unique, special, without any signature. But. Um, There were two directions. All these uh, series things pop out, all these like Campbell's soup, and we had the same in terms of uh, clothes. Insp inspiring, we were all inspired by uh, ugly clothes.